In the last video, you were introduced to the envelope editor and how it could be used to set up a level control fixture effect. In this video, we'll see other uses of the envelope editor. We'll start with a new timeline and drag an audio clip into the audio track. If you hadn't noticed yet, an audio clip comes with two envelopes already in it. The green one on top controls the volume of the clip. The one in the middle controls the audio pan. Right-click on the audio clip and then select Edit Envelope. Here you see the audio clip with the volume and pan envelopes. Select the volume envelope by clicking here. Or you can click on the volume envelope itself. Now let's add a few handles and play it back. The pan envelope works the same way, shifting the sound between the right speaker on the top and the left channel on the bottom. The volume and pan envelopes are automatically included with every audio clip. However, there are envelopes that are not available unless specifically enabled. Double click on the audio clip to bring up the audio clip properties window and click on the audio tab. Now check this box to enable sound effects and click on the setup button. Venue Magic lets you apply a variety of different sound effects to your audio clip. In this row, you enable the sound effect you want. In this row, you select the sound effect you want to set up. Click the play button and you can adjust sound effect settings on the fly as it plays your clip. Now, suppose I didn't want to have a particular sound effect stuck at the same setting all the time. Suppose I wanted the mix and feedback parameters to change over time while the timeline is running. Check these two boxes and click OK. Now, open the envelope editor again. Notice that the two envelopes were added under a new group called Echo. I'm sure you've noticed that the two new envelopes are the same color. To avoid any confusion, I'll change the color of one of them by selecting the envelope and clicking on Set Envelope Color. Also notice that the color of the audio waveform in the clip changes to a different color when any effects are added. Now let's go back to our chaser example from a few videos ago and bring up the chaser setup window. Right next to the speed and brightness sliders are checkboxes. That will make it so that these settings are controlled by an envelope. As you can see, speed and brightness envelopes have been added to the chaser clip. I'll make some changes to the speed envelope and let you see what it looks like. Envelope handles vary from 0 to 100%. You might be asking what this means in terms of chaser speed. 
Going back to the chaser settings window, you can see that the chaser speed is set in beats per minute. The envelope setting is actually a percentage of the beats per minute you set here. In this case, 100% of the envelope would be 60 beats per minute. Now going back to our fireworks example, and going into the settings window for the fireworks effect, you can see that these parameters can also be set by an envelope. For example, setting the frequency parameter with an envelope will let you increase and decrease the intensity of your fireworks over time. Here, I've set the frequency envelope for a single channel. I can copy one envelope to another by right-clicking on the envelope and selecting Copy, then right-clicking on another envelope and selecting Paste. As you can see, Venue Magic Envelopes is a powerful feature that gives you much more dynamic control of the audio and fixture control of your show.